Hey, what's up guys? Josh here and welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut out a white background um, out of any sort of picture that you might be working on. So today I have actually uh, brought up a picture of the new iPhone 5. Uh, it's the black one so I made it easier for you. So here it has a white background and we're just going to be sh I'm just going to be showing you how to uh, basically just get all the white out away so it's a PNG. Which means it's just a transparent background which can be put into any sort of project file you want. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is just p uh, open up the picture that you're uh, that you're going to be working with, and then just make sure that the background is unlocked. Just make sure it's just the pic the it's just a layer. So then you're just going to go to this uh, tool right here. Uh, it's called the Magic Wand tool. I'm sure you've used it before, but uh, in some cases um, there might be a little bit of white left over. So we're just going to fix that real quick. So once you have this, you can just do Command or Control X, and then it's gone. Now there might be some uh, white a little bit left over. If you look really closely, you can see a tiny bit. So uh, the only way to fix that is just to do Command, Hold, Command, or Hold, Control, and then click on the uh, picture over here, right here. And then it should outline all uh, the entire picture. <laughs> okay, so now what you're gonna do is just go to Select, and then just Modify, and then Contract. And then here is, um, how many pixels it's going to be taking away from the outside of the picture. So two is usually a good amount to start with, and then that should take away most of the white. If you want to go even more, just do the same thing. Just do hold command or hold control, and then left click on the picture next to the layer, and then just do select, modify, contract, and then just choose the amount of pixels you want. I wouldn't recommend going that big, otherwise it'll probably mess up the picture, like say if we do 15 it'll mess up the picture quite a bit but other than that it should work out just fine and everything should be good so guys if you enjoyed this uh picture if you if you enjoyed this tutorial then please do leave a like please do comment and guys if you want to do any other tutorials that i haven't done before just tell me just private message me just comment and if you want to learn more about photoshop uh cinema 40 uh, adobe After effects or adobe illustrator then please do subscribe guys thanks i'll see you later